Welcome back. It's been a while since I did a video for this channel. Um, this segment I'm going to talk about the summer comic movies. You know, we had Suicide Squad, we had X Men Apocalypse, right? And of course, we had Captain America, but Captain America was a success. And I spoke about Batman versus Superman already. Um, Suicide Squad and X Men Apocalypse. People, you know, I have I haven't seen them yet. Believe it or not, um, I'm of the yes. And, you know, I'm in a difficult position because I'm a comic book fan, a movie fan, but I also have done occult videos, spiritual videos, right? So, for spiritual people, sometimes watching sci-fi is different for them, right? Like, you know, when Lucy came out, for instance, Lucy was a, was a pretty good movie, right? It was okay. It was pretty good for regular folks. But for the spiritual community, Lucy was like the greatest thing in the world. I, mean, I still get hits for my Lucy video. Lucy's probably my biggest video for this channel ever did. And it's crazy because it's almost like when you're in my position, you have to kind of juggle both hats, right? But this is my sci-fi channel. So, and at the end of the day, I'm more of an art and science fiction guy than I am a spiritual occult guy. You know, occultism is like, for me, like science, you know? Um, you go to school, you take a lot of subjects, science one of them. If you're not a scientist, you're lucky if you, you think science is okay. If you're not into science, science might be like one of your fourth or fifth you know, favorite subjects, right? You might have four subjects better. That's how I am with the cult. Yeah, it's something I do, but number one, I'm more of a science guy, no question. And then number two, I'm definitely more of an art guy, right? I'm definitely more of a science fiction guy. So for me, when I look at it, I said I have to judge it from that hat because I know a few of you guys like the X-Men Apocalypse and you guys are looking at it from, as a, from a spiritual aspect and, oh, you liked what it meant. Cool. When I look at when I just look at X Men Apocalypse from afar, I just see trash. You know, it's funny when I when it first came out, I was excited, right? Not when it first came out. When I first saw previews, it looked good. But when I started seeing the previews over and over and over again, I realized Fox continues not to know what they're doing with that product. And you know, there's a lot of X Men fans, and they would say, "Well, X Men movies are better than Marvel movies." And I'm like, "Well, what are you judging it by? You might like X. Someone who says X Men movies are better than Marvel movies, even come from one or two different angles." You're a fan of the X characters, which I am. I mean, there was almost no bigger X fan than me, right? Um, or you're coming from the standpoint of Marvel movies are too childlike and you like more serious movies. Well, if that's the case, then that's different. But you still don't know how to judge movies. And the reason why I say that is because, yes, if you're not into movies, like a person who's not into movies ain't going to get deep. They're not going to get technical. They're going to be like, which movie did I like better? And they're going to say, well, this is... The, the type of movie I like, right? So this is what I'm gonna like. I, I'm gonna like better. It's kind of like if you say, "Well, this Empire versus Game of Thrones," and if you're not into hip hop, right? You're gonna be like, "Are you serious?" Like, don't get me wrong. Game of Thrones is way better than Empire. Empire to me is a horrible show. So this is not, not even me saying Empire is a good show. I'm giving an example though. There are people who, if you if you have the frame of you're into what Empire represents, you might not like Game of Thrones, right? Now, if you're the type of person who likes history, you like you know, medieval stuff, you're going to be like, are you serious? Game of Thrones is way better. But Game of Thrones is the biggest show. Why? Because people who are neutral, people who are independent, right, who don't even like Eva General, they just want to see something good, they're going to probably say, I like Game of Thrones better. This is the same thing when you compare Fox movies and Marvel movies, even DC movies and Marvel movies. If you look at Suicide Squad, the DC fan base liked it. In fact, if you look at Batman vs. Superman, I'm not going to say the DC fan base liked it, but they definitely didn't think it was that bad. But if you look at people who were independent of the DC fan base, they didn't like it. Now, the reason why DC and Fox fans get pissed at Marvel fans because, for me, it's more out of jealousy. They don't really realize, no, Marvel gets the people who are neutral. That's the point. Like, the people who are neutral, who just want to see a movie, they get them, right? So, Suicide Squad didn't really it didn't really click in my opinion i mean it made money so the thing about dc is that there's so many i mean that's why i think it's a shame because i think dc's not really tapping into the potential that, that they're supposed to have like like listen there's obviously potential with the dc characters i mean superman batman i know it was desperate you know they had superman batman together so it's gonna kind of spike up the, the the numbers a little bit but you cannot argue with it it still made like 300 million dollars i think domestically and i think suicide squad probably made like 280 Something I didn't check, but I know last time was right under three. Those are pretty damn good numbers when supposedly people didn't like the movie. So to me, yeah, DC could take that and say, well, we could still we could still try. And I think they still I still think they should try because at the end of the day, I still do think 
as comic book fans, we benefit from more than one company making movies because I do think eventually Marvel's reign will make nothing last forever. Like I do think they're gonna slip up eventually. I'm not hoping for that, but it has to. It's just the laws of rhythm. But I do think for sure, like to show you that Fox doesn't know what they're doing. Think about it. Think about it. Fantastic Four was terrible. Why? Because Fantastic Four is not as popular. And so when something's not as popular and it's a bad movie, it's going to show more. The X-Men, people forget Hugh Jackman is X-Men. That I mean, that dude is X-Men. Like A lot of X-Men's um, success was off him. Now that he's kind of stepping away from Wolverine, yeah, like I'm, I'm sorry. Like, X-Men is going to struggle. Now, now X-Men and Apocalypse might have some science fiction codes that, that might be great. And I'll see when it comes out, like when it comes on on, on DVD. But right now, no, I'm not going to movies to see that. When Doctor Strange comes out, yeah, I'm going to see that. Because why? It calls me. I could look at that and say, okay, it looks interesting. I still do think it might be Marvel's first miss. Because I know it's mysticism, so you can't treat mysticism the same way you treat superhero powers. So they come with some crazy stuff that's kind of like, like Thor. Thor is magic, but it comes off as more superhuman powers. Doctor Strange is straight up mysticism. So if you don't treat that a certain way, it could come off really bad. So we'll see how it comes out. But, yeah, that's the reason why I didn't review um, X-Men and Suicide Squad. I think that's why they had subpar reviews because I just think Fox and DC don't have the right formula yet. doesn't mean they can't get the formula. I actually, I, I no, I think Fox can't get the formula. DC could get the formula. I have to admit, DC still has the potential to do it. Fox, no, I think Fox is done. You know, Fox, to me... The worst thing they did is listen to their fans who you you have a dedicated X fan who who get in their ear and tell them how X movie movies are better than Marvel movies. At the end of the day, like I said, if you're not a movie person, you get away with doing that because you're just gonna go by entertainment. But when you're into movies, you go by how things are acted, how movies are paced, you know, different camera angles, you know, you go by totally different effects than when someone just says, "Oh, I just like to see a good movie." But my problem is the people who say they just want to see a good movie, Fox is losing that. Like, at the end of the day, like, I know I'm, I'm not a regular movie dude, right? The average person just wants to go to the theater and ha, 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 be entertained. But Fox has lost even that. And you can tell that because they lost Fantastic Four. And to me, for them, we've always been waiting for Apocalypse. That's always been what everyone's been waiting for. And for them to, 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 to make an attempt and fail like that, to me, just, like, disappointing. And I know Fox is egotistical. Think of it. Sony's bigger than Fox. And even Sony said, you know what, Marvel? We don't know what, what, what we're doing. Take control. Yo, Sony's killing it. Why? Because they're still making the money. Spider-Man is still theirs. But, again, it just shows that, you know, sometimes it's not about listening to your... Yes, you got to listen to your hardcore fans. But it is about sometimes the people in between. And you have to get a formula to pull them in. And they have not got that yet. DC or Fox. So, till next time. Peace.